Welcome back. It is about 11 minutes past the hour. All week long, if you've been with us here on Minnesota Live, you know that we have been marking Breast Cancer Awareness Month with conversations. Mm -hmm. We have talked with survivors. We've talked with healthcare professionals about the importance of early detection. And today we're talking with someone who's helped more than a million women get screened for breast cancer. Jane Bratton, the namesake of the Park Nicollet Jane Bratton Breast Center in St. Louis Park, joins us this morning. Jane, thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. We really appreciate it's my it. pleasure. We were just kind of, you know, chatting about the story of you and how all of this came to be. And it's really interesting. Uh, your journey with breast cancer started before your diagnosis. Yes. Tell us a little bit about what, <laughs> what happened. Yeah. So um, my husband was approached by his doctor and said, there's a piece of equipment that's, a, that's uh, come on the market and it's a stereotactic biopsy machine and it's better for women. It's faster. It's cheaper. It's everything. And, um, would you be willing to fund it? And my husband said, yeah, yeah, <laughs> we would. And so it was like, I don't know, eight months later, I was diagnosed with breast cancer and went in for my biopsy. And my husband said, hey, what happened to that machine we donated? Yeah. <laughs> and they said, well, we've been testing it on grapefruit and your wife will be the first real patient. So I was, and that was really the, the start of the creation of the Jane Bratton Breast Center. That's incredible. Yeah. And you didn't have a history with with breast cancer. It wasn't in your family. You didn't have anyone you were, you know, donating this machine in honor of. There wasn't any sort of connection prior. No, no connection as related to breast cancer, but yeah. we had done some other work uh, supporting a blood lab in the cancer center, mm -hmm. which just because it was the right thing, right to, thing do. to do. My husband was sitting in the waiting room and he saw these cancer patients coming in and leaving and of course they're very sick and they were they had to go to the fourth floor to get their blood drawn and he's he's like what's this all about yeah we need to have a blood lab here in the cancer center so Just that was the, the process that was really the, the start yeah and in celebration you're a two-time breast cancer survivor I am I right. love hearing that word survivor. Yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> it's a great word. Yeah, yeah. All right, tell us the vision that you had for the Jane Bratton Breast Cancer Center. Well, that's, that's a great question. And it was really my, my husband and um, the radiologist and the oncologist who kind of had this vision for the Center for Women. So it was three men. And, and their vision was to have, the, first of all, the latest uh, technology and starting with the stereotactic biopsy machine. And then we were, we had first digital, first 3D mammogram, first CAD. We were first in, in everything and we continue to strive to, to do that. And then beyond that, it's the staffing and it's the, the space and um, it's beautiful. Well, you couldn't kind of see it, yeah. but it's, it's beautiful. We have really nice robes and so, you know, we want to make it comfortable. Some people call it the, the uh, breast spa. <laughs> we'll Which, take it. We'll take it, yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And then, and then my husband, not being a very patient man himself, he was like, we need to make sure that, that patients get results immediately. So this whole no sleepless nights um, wow. thing became really part of the vision. And those things we continue uh, to this day. Well, and you say part of the vision. This was back in the 90s, the mm -hmm. early 90s. Mm -hmm. So this is something that's been going for 30 plus years. Yes, yes, yeah. Did I read correctly when I read that your name connected to the Park Nicollet Breast Center was not something that you guys had kind of intended, but your husband wanted the name of a survivor on that when they yes. were talking about naming the center? Yeah, yeah, I was just the vehicle. <laughs> <laughs> but you were a survivor and it made but all the survivor. sense in the world. Yeah, yeah, it does. It, it does. And now and you've kind of branched out even further than the center. You have um, a mobile yes, vehicle our, that goes around and helps yes, women. Yes, our outreach program is, is it's just fantastic. Oh, tell us about see, the pink. Yeah, you can see the big, pink machine, the big go, pink go. buses. And they, um, so we have two of them. And we're really the only mobile mammography in the state. And we go and do these community events. And it's just, it really breaks down all the barriers for women getting uh, a mammogram mm -hmm. because it's, I mean, sometimes it's insurance or underinsured. Sometimes it's just being able to get there. Get the and time so, off work to yeah, get there. Exactly. Schedule with the kids. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, it's, uh, 
we're very proud of that. You know, we, we talk a lot about breast cancer in October. Uh, those who have been through a diagnosis, survived, families, they talk about it all the time. <laughs> Why are you so passionate about talking about it all the time and making sure women have access to mammograms? Well, uh, it just seems like it's the right thing to do. And I mean, I am very proud of, of the Breast Center and all the work that they do and the, and the number of women that get early diagnosis and therefore can be treated. Um, it just, you know, seems like absolutely the right thing to do. And, mm -hmm. and when you've had it twice, <laughs> right. it's, it really hits home. Right. No right. doubt about it. Well, we're, we're very proud to have met you. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> well, really you. what you and your family and the doctors there are doing is just, is just incredible. Yeah. So. Yeah. The staff is amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Well, thank your husband. I will. <laughs> <laughs> for making the donation. Yeah. And now we have this facility that is helping women all over the state. Yep. Jane, Jane thank you. Thank you thank so you. much. Thank you. Appreciate it. You can find out more information about the um, Jane Bratton Breast Center. You can also find out about other conversations from this week about breast cancer on MinnesotaLive.com. Remember, the Making Strides Against Breast Cancer Walk is happening tomorrow morning at Mall of America. I will be out there oh, great. along with weekend anchor Alex Jokic. We'll be emceeing that event and bringing you live coverage tomorrow morning. All right.